In the following animation, we'll demonstrate the significant production gains that can be obtained by using NOV command inflow valves configured with React remotely activated technology. The poor cleanup of high angle wells and its detrimental impact on production efficiency, particularly in wells with open hole completions, is a common issue encountered throughout the oil industry today. By improving the cleanup characteristics of a well, it has been shown that significant benefits in terms of increased production and recovery can be realized. The negative impact of poor well cleanup can be seen here in an open hole section of a well that's been configured with a standard pre drilled liner. As drawdown is applied, the well fluid flows towards the path of least resistance which results in the well cleaning up predominantly from the heel of the well. As a consequence, the toe of the well may never fully clean up and drilling fluid is likely to remain across the toe section with the filter cake at the toe remaining undisturbed. As we can see here, the vast majority of the flow is apparent at the heel. This issue has been proven through actual field experience, determined by pressure transient analysis and confirmed by results of production logging by a major North Sea operator. In the aforementioned log, the flow was shown to be coming predominantly from the heel of the well, and in some cases the actual flowing length was less than 20% of the overall drilled reservoir section. It was identified that considerable value in terms of increased production and reservoir access could be gained if wells could be completed in such a manner to improve the flowing intervals. NOV's solution to this common problem uses a technique called sequential startup to bring production zones online in a strategically planned sequence. NOV's range of intelligent valves has been developed to eliminate the problem at source rather than address the symptoms of poor wellbore cleanup post-production. In the following animation, we'll demonstrate the benefits gained from the flexibility of the command activation signaling method. We will gradually bring a well online through the utilization of five command inflow valves, which have been strategically located along the horizontal section of a reservoir. At the heart of the technology is NOV's field-proven pressure monitoring unit, PMU, which comprises a pressure transducer, a microprocessor and multiple configurable output channels. The function of the PMU is to constantly monitor the well for an increase in pressure over a pre-programmed time period. A unique pressure signal is used as an activation event to initiate the valve countdown sequence. The activation event in this scenario is the application of a two-stage well pressure sequence of 1500 PSI held for a period of 30 minutes, followed by 3000 PSI held for a further 30 minutes, then returning to the well's static pressure. In this example, the well has been split into five production zones with a command inflow valve located between each set of swell packers, which provides isolation of each production zone. As previously stated, each valve has been programmed to recognize the unique pressure signal as an activation event for initiating the valve countdown sequence. The inflow valves have been configured with the following opening times, 10 minutes, 12 days, 44 days, 68 days, and 100 days. Here we see fluid being pumped into the well to increase the well pressure to 1500 PSI. Having reached a level of 1500 PSI, the pressure is then held for 30 minutes. The well pressure is then further increased to 3000 PSI and held for a further 30 minutes. The well is then returned to its static pressure by bleeding back the induced pressure from surface. Upon completion of the pressure sequence, the PMUs within each of the valves recognize the activation event and send a signal to the internal electronic countdown timers. All five valves begin their countdown sequence. 
Ten minutes after recognition of the activation signal, the internal timer in valve number one sends an opening signal to an actuator within the tool. The actuator pin moves forward and allows communication of well pressure into the actuation chamber. The communication of well pressure into the actuation chamber pushes the main piston of valve number one to the open position. Well fluids enter the valve through the now open flow ports from the annulus. Due to the increased drawdown flush rate, any filter cake apparent at the toe of the well is more effectively cleaned up, resulting in better production rates. Because valve number one is the only valve currently open, the effectiveness of the zone one cleanup is greatly enhanced. Having successfully cleaned up zone number one, zone number two automatically opens 12 days after the initial activation signal. Once again, the increased flush rate achieved by sequentially opening the well results in enhanced cleanup of zone two. Over the next three months, the various valves in the well continue to open upon the expiry of their specified time delay periods. Finally, on day 100, the uppermost valve in the completion opens. The REACT remotely activated technology has also been proven to be greatly beneficial in identifying and planning future well optimization operations. An additional benefit of stage startup, apart from the increased production, is an opportunity for the reservoir team to perform an initial basic PLT and PBU on the well as it opens up in stages. Information on zonal contribution, skin characteristics, rock quality, zonal pressures and water cut percentage can be readily obtained and used to plan the development of the field. NOV inflow valves retain the functionality of a standard sliding sleeve throughout their life and can be manually moved to the closed position to control water production or zonal isolation in the future.